Welcome back everybody and welcome to another episode of Go Little Garage. Today's gonna be a little bit different because it's not a full car kit. Today we have the Indiana Jones kit and I know what you're thinking, oh that's not a car kit, that's a plane in a car kit, but it has a car and it has a pretty cool looking car. So we're gonna build it. I don't know if I'm gonna do the plane or not, probably will, because it's still a vehicle and I like building vehicles. We might do both, we'll probably do both, but we're definitely gonna build the car. So before we get started, just a reminder that our giveaway for 250 subscribers is rapidly approaching. We're over 200 subscribers now. Since most of you viewers are not subscribed, i.e. 95% of you, if you would just help us out and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to know when videos are released. If not, that's cool, don't ring the bell, but at least hit the subscribe button at the very minimum and help us out. And when we get to 200 subscribers, we're going to be giving away that Mercedes Twin Speed Champions kit. So that's coming up very soon. Also, if you don't want to watch the whole video, if you're not into the speed build or if you're not into the unboxings or if you're not into the review, you just want to see the score on these, you just want to see your name on the list on the Patreon at the end of the video, you can click on the chapters down in the description below and jump around the video wherever you want to go to. I set those chapters up so you can get to each of the different parts of the video easily and you don't have to wait through the whole thing if you don't like certain parts of the video. I'm going to keep doing every part of the video because that's what I enjoy doing, but you don't have to watch the whole video. You can click around if you want to, feel free, and use the chapters down in the description. So, now that we've covered those two things, let's get on to this. This is the fighter plane chase, obviously Indiana Jones. This is kit number 77012. This just came out in April of, I wrote down 2022, but I think it was 2023. I'm going to have to go check that. 2023, and this is part of the Indiana Jones and the Lost Crusade series. This is for ages eight plus. This has 387 pieces. It is definitely available retail since it just came out in April. And if you get it from lego.com, you will get 227 VIP points. Please use our link below. It is an affiliate link and it helps us out. So I was excited when this one came out because it's a pretty cool looking little car. Uh, old little vintage car. It looks like my dad's MG a little bit. That kind of style. And those old 30s, 40s, 50s British and German cars. It's a cool looking little car and it has a pretty cool looking plane. So let's dig into this one and see what we got. Obviously gonna have more than one bag. I'm guessing maybe four bags and a couple loose pieces, but we'll see. Well, it was one off. We got three bags, we got our manual, pretty thick manual, but that's to be expected because we have two vehicles that we're building. And we got our sticker kit, which is actually not as many stickers as I thought. I thought there'd be a little bit more, but maybe there's some of these that are uh, printed on the parts. It looks like we have 10 stickers. Total. Looks like the little doors, some little uh, camo panels for the plane, the warning sign for the tunnel, and the structure pieces for the canopy. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like those, but we'll see when it's done. I uh, don't have high expectations for that one because we're putting clear stickers on a clear piece, but we'll see. So, 10 stickers, three bags, one manual, let's get going.
have mixed feelings. Uh, let's start with the plane. So, I think they did really well in the plane. I'm gonna have to watch the movie again because I don't know why... I don't remember why everything's on fire under here. Especially when the engine's up here. I don't know. Guns are here. That would cause some, you know, Hollywood fire out of it. But I don't remember why the fire's down here and all these orange pieces are used. I just don't remember. I'm gonna have to watch the movie again and figure that out. I'm gonna trust that it's accurate, but again, I don't remember. So, the way that they built the plane is very good. I like how they got the wings to angle up like that. I think that's great. Uh, they also clipped them in so they can pop off because of the tunnel. Uh, and they have the little tunnel warning sign here as well. So that was creative and movie accurate. The propeller's pretty cool. The, the way that they did the engine and the front of the plane, that's pretty cool. I know this is weird coming from me, but I think they could have put a couple more stickers on here. I think that there's either not enough stickers or not enough of the olive sand colored pieces to make the design. There's just a couple little pieces here and there, just like there's nothing on the sides at all, except two green pieces back here and five stickers for camouflage. So I think they could have done that a little bit better, maybe put some... Uh, some other green pieces throughout the build to make it a little bit more camouflage pattern. I think they could have done a little bit better on the landing gear, but it's not bad. They used some Technic pieces in here and it's all right. I mean, it's pretty good for for this scale. It looks kind of chonky on the bottom, but it's still it's still all right. I, I still I think I think they did a good job there. The canopy is a 100% fail. The shape of it is great, and this little piece on the front to make it the right shape to fit everything, that's great. But print it, silk screen it. I just had to live with my placement for the first time because you can't pick it up and put it back down because it's a clear sticker and that adhesive peels and turns white as soon as you stretch it at all. So now I got a big white streak there because I tried to pull it up a little bit just to replace it a little bit. You don't know how wide it is because it's not the width of the whole thing. So if you put it on one side and then wrap it around, it would have been misaligned. And if you put it on the other side and wrap around, it would have been misaligned. So you have to start in the center and you don't really know where the lines are gonna line up. You can try. I mean, I tried pretty good. I'm still not completely happy with how I lined it up, but you have to line it up with the front and the back and it makes too much contact along the center to be able to pick it up and try it again so that's just a one shot thing and i screwed it up just a little bit i can tell i don't know if anybody else is going to tell just by looking at it but now that you know if you come over you're going to look at it you're going to know too but this should have been a printed all the canopies for the speed champions are printed this should definitely have been a printed especially for this price point of a kit other than that the shape of it is great so i guess it's not a hundred percent fail it's a 50 50. So, let's move on to the car. The car is also bittersweet. There's some really cool features on here, like how they did the headlights. I like how they did the headlights in the grill. I like how they shaped out the car and it does look like that, you know, 40s and 50s European German style roadster car. It is pretty cool. The back end of it, however, is really loose and the way that they put it in there can swivel and I think that they could have just done that a little bit better. It could have been a better attachment back here so that it's more straight. I didn't like that. I also don't like the little suitcase in here that's just sitting in there because I don't like pieces that just fall out when somebody's looking at your display piece if they, if they pick it up. And also this chest is chock full of little tiny pieces that can get lost, so I'm not going to display it with those or the suitcase in it. I might not even display it with the minifigures in it, I don't know, I'm, I haven't dis decided yet. But the rest of the car looks great, except for the number one flaw in a Lego car, the steering wheel is off center for the driver. I mean, this is an eight stud wide kit. They could have done something. Come on, figure it out, guys. This is, I know that it narrows here to a six stud wide chassis with the little running boards that are eight stud, but even if you had, I, it just, I don't know how you would do it. I'm looking at it, it it's kind of tough, kind of like that beach camper van, but it's an annoyance. I guess he's just gonna drive with his right hand and just forget about his left hand. And it's just, 
It's a cramped car. It bugs me, but I get it. I'm still a little upset with it, but I'm gonna have to live with it because I'm not gonna change it at all. The way that these door panels fit in here was really clever, but it's also not very stable. There's no, it, there's no connection from here to here other than on the bottom. So that's why this is four pieces deep to try to give it some rigidity because everything above that is not connected. It's clever, it looks cool, they got the look down. They definitely succeeded in the look and making it look like the car in the movie and of this era. It is definitely pretty period correct on this scale. I think it's a pretty cool car. They could have done a little bit better on the back. It's still, it's still pretty good, pretty clever. The little cargo well that fits this chest fits it absolutely perfectly, so that's cool. I think that's about it for this one. I think I would have liked to see a little bit more chrome up here, but again, I'd have to watch the movie again. They might have tried to be movie accurate on that and not just, you know, the old car, but they did get kind of metallic on just the grills and the windshield frame, but everything else is light gray and dark gray. There's no metallic elements in there. I think it's a pretty cool little car. They could have gone a little bit wider on the tires. The rims stick out on both sides, but it still looks good. It looks good for the scale that it is. This one will definitely display next to all of the other cars. And this is going upstairs in another room because it's an airplane and it's not a car. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed our little offshoot into a not a car kit, but still had a car kit. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.